Everything I'm going to show you today is done on an i7, 2.2 gigahertz, 8 gig of RAM computer. Everything is done inside Civil Designer. Let's get started. On my side, this is a very smooth video, hopefully on your side as well. Everything you see is done inside Civil Designer, including the CAD, the surveying terrain for your platform designs, your roads, including the road markings and the road furniture, as well as the sewer, the stormwater and the water. And because of this full-on integration, you're actually able to go beneath the ground and go and check for clashes. I'm just going to slow this down somewhat. Looking at the position of my cursor, you can see there's a yellow balloon. That yellow balloon indicates that there's a clash between my services. And this could be any service. Not only if they clash, but also if they are within a user-defined proximity, then Civil Designer would also give you notification of this. You are able to travel backwards, and then looking in front of us again, approaching this blue area, this is what we refer to as the water film thickness functionality. And with this functionality, you go and specify a bit of stormwater information and Civil Designer will calculate the probability of aquaplaning. These values are the water depth. And if you look over there, there's a red square that indicates where the water depth is the deepest. Locking my view to the front view and then continuing with my drive through. If you prefer to use the drone approach and fly along your road, you can do so. And then either using your keyboard shortcuts or these icons at the bottom, you can go and speed up your simulation. We give you the option of selecting different environmental settings. And this is really useful if you are presenting to a potential client. Looking at the different settings. And then as I approach the off-ramp, I'm going to go and make changes to my settings. If I want to travel along this off-ramp, I can go and right-click on that road and go and select to fly along that road entity. So you aren't limited to just one specific road. If you'd like to take a screenshot of that, you can. I'm going to press Ctrl-1 on my keyboard. You can see the green number 1 there, indicating that I've created the screen grab. I can then exit the road and move to any portion of my project. If I'd like to see this interchange from a 360 degree perspective, I also have the option to circle around. Taking a look at that. And there you can see your project from any perspective. If you'd like to revert back to the previous screenshot, simply do so by pressing one on my keyboard. Let's exit the render view. 